So we haven't been over here to talk about this because, you know, it's just disappointing and it's just the situation on the farm. But what are we doing today? Planting watermelon seeds. We're planting watermelon seeds. Different kind. I know, this is a different kind. This one's going to so be a different So basically, kind. the reason why it's disappointing, here's a different kind. I'm getting it out for you. Really? Yes. I'd like it in my hand. Yeah, here's a little mouse. No, you got okay, no, Which one are you going to put there? Okay, so the first one was a black diamond. We did black diamond watermelon seeds in this one. We're doing a jubilee in this one. Jubilee. Right? Yep, jubilee. And the next one we're going to do is... I'm going to find it now because I think I mixed them all up. There we go. Sugar baby. Sugar baby. Yep. Sugar baby. Sugar baby. So, what's the disappointment? What's the problem? We're over here in front of the chicken coop. Like I said, last summer was just super, super, super dry. And in the fall, before it even got to fall, a big peach tree that was sitting right here, Very right good. in this exact location, dried up. And it never came back. So here, you ready? Hand out. You're gonna get sand out of your pants brushing it like that. So we are replanting some of. Is this a peach tree? No, this is not a peach tree. How many in each hole? We just put a couple of them in there. We just want some to grow. As long as one of them grows out of the pot, that's all I care. So we're probably putting six, eight, ten seeds in these pots. But this is a okay, three in each hole. Eureka variegated pink lemon. So we had one last year that was planted planted over there where the shovel's standing in the ground. Because I gotta plant another tree right there. But we're just moving things around a little bit because I can. So I have a fig tree that's sitting right next to that shovel that we're gonna plant in its spot. This one we had over there, it just didn't grow good. So we're going to probably prune this one back a little bit. It's in the shade, so that's a good thing. We'll probably do a little bit of pruning to pull off some of these leaves just because everything's so dry. But, I mean, the way this summer's already going, we're going to have to do something about getting water out here to all these things. Oh, so the yeah. nice thing over here on this side of the house is we can capture the... Water from the washing machine. Uh, oh, we use a very yeah. soft type water in or soap in the washing machine anyway, so it's not going to affect this. And it's okay to use it on fruit trees because it's just going to water the plants. So we are going to right now we're planting some watermelons in this, and while we're just watering this, can I at least have two more seeds? I don't. Sugar baby? Sure, why not? Because I was doing it three in each hole. You're doing a few in a hole? Yeah, three in each hole. Well, you think I can count while I'm shaking that out of an envelope? <laughs> Wait, that's an envelope? There's one in your hand. You left one in your hand. I know, that's why I said two. Oh, okay. I put three in each hole. This is a seed envelope. Uh oh, I put too many in there. Yeah, Good I can make another more. hole. We'll make another hole. Yeah, okay, so you're doing sugar baby over in those. Those are the small watermelons. But we figured we've got a lot of space over here that we can let things grow and vine out. These, the pots on top, we'll water them. And eventually we'll get some sort of soaker hose that goes around the base down there that will be feeding off the wash machine, but we'll water that tree, the tree that's behind that one, the new fig tree that's there, there's another citrus there, the satsuma that we got fruit on. There's one directly behind it that you can't see from here. And oh look, right there, we got another dead tree. So we've got one more that I gotta figure out what Wait. kind I wanna plant there. Don't want this to all Wait. be citrus just because I don't want it all to be citrus. Might see if I can find a plum because our plum that is 
right next door right there has never it's flowered but it's never produced fruit so i need to see need to go to some of the local nurseries that are more texas specific yeah you can water it put a little water in there we already soaked it pretty good beforehand but oh, yeah. we just don't want it to be filled up so that it's super full you can put more in there Okay, I was only kind of trying to get I it I know, wet. that's what we want to do, is just get it wet, but we don't want it to be floating in water, right? Okay, that's You can good. do more. It's super hot out, so we want to make sure that it's wet. So that's probably good. Yeah, do the that's next one, good. and then do the next one, just like that. So, we're trying to replant. Get some things growing over here. Get, I tried get to some more in that one. Get, that one. get more in that one. But the reason why we're doing the watermelon is because once they start growing, we can soak Ugh. them very well. Soak them a lot. Ugh. And whatever drains through will drain through and water this plant as well. But what else did we plant in here? We're going to tease people. We planted something else in here. What did we plant in here? What else? In the same pot we put water. What? They're big acorns. Big acorns. We've yeah. had found some acorns from uh, a burr oak. It was at Lowe's hardware store last fall. We thought, you know what? Why don't we just try it? So it probably should have been dumped in the ground last fall and just left there, but we didn't think of that. So we might have messed up, but we stuck them in these pots. If they Stop grow, them. then you know what I have? I have a bucket that's got an acorn in it. It will grow to a tree that I can move and put wherever I want. So right now we're just trying to create more of a watering situation here. And so I think we're going to be done with this one. So here's our disappointing big peach tree that was seven feet tall. Like I said, last fall was just too hot for it and it dried up. So we've got that one out. I've got one more to plant, and then i got one space to figure out what we're going to put there. So come here and say, see ya. You're going to come over here and say goodbye? Come on. Love ya. See ya. Bye. You're going to do it from all the way over there. You don't want to come over here? Jinx, you owe me a soda. Okay. I guess that's it. <laughs> Love ya. See ya. Bye. Catch you on the next video, guys. Hope you're having a good one. I hope you're staying safe. And we'll see you soon. Bye now.